The fearsome Cleveland Cavaliers square up against the savvy Philadelphia 76ers. It's Tuesday Night Basketball here on 2K Sports. Welcome to Philadelphia, everyone, as the 76ers get ready to defend home court in the Eastern Conference. Good Tuesday evening to you and yours. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg. Look at the matchups here presented by T-Mobile. The lineup for Eddie Jordan and Mike Brown. handoff to Igudala to the win. The defense made the mistake of playing off them, and he drained it from deep. 76ers on D. It's a three-point game. To Williams. O'Neal. Defended by Young. James with it. Here's Williams, had a piece of it. And here is Williams. Here's Igudala, misses the three after the nice pump fake. So it's Cleveland now. O'Neal inside. Gallum bears there. Gets in close from short range. O'Neal misses. Here's Philadelphia. It's off his leg. And the official saying it was kicked. Spates is in it powerful. Maurice Spates. And here is Williams. Rand. Connects on the baseline jumper. And Cleveland has possession. LeBron, right wing. And here's O'Neal. He's against Brand. Here's James. Off the mark with the three ball. Cavaliers on D. Still without a basket in the game. Five on the shot clock. Here's Williams. Connects on the tough shot. Five points in the game. Now Cleveland has possession. They trail by seven. LeBron gets the bucket and the foul. It's on Thaddeus Young. Both teams changing it up. Good for the three-point play. If LeBron James's career, God forbid, would end right now, where would he rank, you think, in, in the history of the NBA? I wouldn't put a number on it, but he'd be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Mm. I think without question, for the way he's come into the league at his age and to produce at the level he's produced at, if it stops right now, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, and I think that says it all. He's been a great fit for the league, hasn't he? Oh, in, in so many ways. Yeah, the timing and where he's ended up in Cleveland, re-energizing not only that franchise, but the city. It's been phenomenal to watch. 
Here's Williams. Laid in with the D draped all over him. He has seven. That's where you're going to get the high percentage looks. Easy two there. Skip pass. James with it. He's covered by Igudala. I think the defense was crowding him a little bit, threw him off some, so he had to fade just to get room to shoot, and then couldn't adjust. And here is Green to Williams, Igudala. Six seconds to shoot. Here's Green. Drops it in from beyond the arc. They're really giving them all they can handle here. The defense is having a hard time keeping up. Here's Ilgauskas. Nails the easy jumper. And here is Williams. Igudama. The rebound by Ilgauskas. And as you mentioned, the defense will step slow trying to defend this offensive onslaught. Yeah, Kevin, I mean, when they're shooting at such a high percentage like they are, um, they're really difficult to beat. Okay, here we go. The start of the second quarter. We've got a close contest in this one. And right now, let's check in with Cheryl, who got a chance to talk with Eddie Jordan. Hey, Kev, he told me that he feels a faster tempo would benefit his team. He said this team has great speed, and if this turns into a high-paced game, they'll have an advantage. Get ready for a ride, guys. Looks like we might have a barn burner. More and more teams are playing up-tempo basketball, and I think it's great for the league. It's a fun and exciting brand of basketball to play and to watch. And it's the 76ers with the ball, following the Cavaliers' miss. Here's Capono. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. The Cavaliers trailing. Tipped. You have to play smart with the ball in your hand. The 76ers lead it. Down low. Young to the wing. Hits the tray. Defense was slow to set up there, and as a result, got burned. And here is West. Il Gostas, that's in. It's short, but gets the kind bounce. He seems quite confident in that hook shot. The defense wasn't even close to blocking that one. Coach Jordan signals for a timeout. Sixers changing it up. And here is Green. Six seconds to shoot. Here's Spates. Connects from in close. Great pass into the lane. They'll take that one every time. To Gibson. The defense anticipated the kick out the whole time. Young inside. Finishes with the soft touch. Nice shot by the third-year man out of Georgia Tech. Two 
Here's Gibson. Connects from the high post. They've been lights out. I mean, I like what I'm seeing right here. Still down on the scoreboard, but you get the sense that they're moving in the right direction. And here is Green. To the left wing. Six seconds to shoot. Screen by Dallander. Young's shot is off. So it's Cleveland now. Eight-point game. Here's West. Lays it right in. That's the way to manufacture your shot against the taller defender. Solid effort. To Young. Thirteen feet out. That's good. Great pick there. The defender was stopped in his track, and it freed up the easy basket. Gibson. A miss three. The 76ers. Good out for the quick shot here. That would leave him with the final possession. Spates to Capono. Here's Spates. Dunks it down with one hand. He's not a sensational dunker, but he flushed that one just to make sure. They'd be smart to hold it now for the last shot. Boy, the turnovers are piling up pretty quickly here. We've seen them doing quite a bit of sloppy ball handling. Mm -hmm. That's their third turnover in this quarter. And here is West. The 76ers have been red hot offensively. Yeah, but we've still got two quarters to play. Anything can happen. And that concludes the first half. The score, 25 to 13. Let's now go to studio for the T-Mobile Halftime Report. Let's have a look at the team stats from the first half. The Cavs have been shooting themselves in the foot with their repeated turnovers. Yeah, if they're going to have any chance to make a comeback, they've got to cut down on the miscues. Lewis Williams has been incredible. To say the least, Kevin, he's been lighting up that scoreboard, and he's our top scorer. Hello and welcome back. We're glad you're with us. The NBA so many times comes down to a game of runs, and we'll see if a run here will turn this thing around as we get underway. And here is Williams. And here is O'Neal. Gallum Bears there. Shoots from the post. Oh, barely misses the shot, but he'll go to the line for two. Samuel Dallenbear picks one up. Tough interior defense means not allowing easy baskets. Good foul. He knocks down the first one. Shaquille O'Neal has always struggled from the foul line throughout his career. But last season, he actually improved. So much so that he started to call himself O'Nealovic in respect to the outstanding European shooters that dot the NBA landscape. And here is Williams. Seven points in the game. Grant backs him down. On the paint, gets the bucket. James with it. Shaq with the screen. Defended by Young. Fades away. They're putting bodies on bodies and cleaning up the misses. Yeah, they're winning definitely the inside matchup right now. And right now, let's check in with Cheryl, who got a chance to talk with Eddie Jordan. Hey, Kev. According to him, the team is headed in the right direction. Good ball control. He said that it's easy to say things like, don't turn the ball over, but the results speak for themselves. Everyone is focused, patient, and it's paying off. That's it from the sidelines. Kevin and Clark. Thank you, Cheryl. And here is Williams. After the miss by the 76ers. Working on Brand. 
I'm inside. Rebound by Elton Brand. And as we were saying, they're doing a great job blocking out there. You know, Kevin, rebounding is a lot about blocking out and positioning, but it's also about timing and pursuing the ball. And oh! He's not necessarily a five-star athlete, but he's got the length and stuff at home when he gets it inside. Coach Brown calls time. Some adjustments for both teams. James with it. 216 left in the third. Here's James, lays it in. Sweet time to lead him to the rack. Five points in the game. No one really contesting him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for him. And here is Williams. He has seven. Igudama. Flushes oh! it with the one-handed jam. So it's Cleveland now. Down by 15. Here's West. Great finish in traffic. Nice bucket by the six-year veteran out of St. Joe's. And the 76ers with possession. Here's Spitz. Flushes it in to finish the drive. Too easy. Far too easy. Here comes Williams. Young gets the reach-in call. That's his second foul of the game. West will leave the floor. The bench has really come on strong these last few minutes. They've really got to be ecstatic with the play from the subs. They've come in and given them a huge boost. James with it. Five points in the game. In close, nice shot by James. Just put the ball in his hands, Kevin, and watch him go to work. He's going to make something good happen. And here is Williams. Igudama. The shot no good. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. And here is O'Neal. He's against Brand. Fades back. I'll tell you what, more defense can make an offensive player look unstoppable. And it's the 76ers with the ball. They lead by 11. Iguodala with it. James covering. Let's it go. That's a nice post move there, Kevin. You won't carry your team down on the low block. But he could have fooled me with that move right there. James with it. He has seven. It's tipped. The steal by the 76ers. To get back into this game, Kevin, they need to really concentrate on limiting the turnovers. I mean, it hasn't been terrible for them, but it's still hurting their call. We have just finished the third quarter, and it's a double-digit game. The score, 37-22. to 22. Lewis Williams has played his heart out. Nine points and two assists. Yeah, it might not look all that imposing on the stat sheet, but if you're paying close attention, you can see the impact he's had on this game. He's going all out. All right, the fourth quarter should begin momentarily. Welcome to the fourth quarter. 
wide margin on the scoreboard tells it all. This one is probably over, but you never know. Anything can happen. And here is Williams. 15-point game. You're right, Clark. When you're down, you can't just give away opportunities like that. Well, the margin of error is much smaller when you're trailing and trying to come back, so everything is much more important. But turnovers always are self-destructive. And here is Williams. He's got nine. Check with the screen. Here's James. Answers right back with a three of his own. He's not going to let anyone get the best of him. He'll trade threes with you all game. Leads him in. A two-handed jam. Nice throwdown. That's how to take it to the rim and make it happen. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Let's quickly go over to Cheryl Miller, who spoke moments ago with Mike Brown. Hey, guys, he wants them to post up more. He thinks they can take advantage down there. Let's we'll see if he's right. Guys? Okay, thanks. And it's the 76ers with the ball. The dump off to Green. No luck on the three-point attempt. The D dared him to put it up, and he couldn't make him pay. This Cavalier squad is struggling. 17-point game. Williams' shot is good. This is a team that doesn't want to go away and won't go away the way they're shooting it here in the second half. I mean, they've really picked it up with their perimeter shooting. On defense, the Cavaliers. They trail by 14. Trailed in by Prezier. Well, that's a little bit of the European style of play there. When your bigs can hit the mid-range jumper, it can really open things up for everybody else. And here is Williams. LeBron James on the wing. Double clutches. It counts. And the foul. D'Alembert is in at center. He completes the three-point play. Clark, the thing that impresses me about LeBron is how mature he is. That's one of the things that impresses me, Kevin, but more than his maturity is his passing ability. This guy has tremendous vision and the willingness to give the ball up and to make the right play all the time. Here's Holiday. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. It's on Mo Williams. That's a good call by the referee. There was definitely some contact on the release of the shot. Number 11, shooting two. And he makes the first one. Gets them both. 
And here is Williams. Let's go with a three. James misses. Tough break there, Kev. He found an opening on the floor and got a nice clear look. Just didn't convert. Spates inside. O'Neal's there. They couldn't beat the buzzer. That's a turnover. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. He's really in the zone and is racking up the points in bunches. He certainly has. He's getting all the looks he wants and is finishing his chances. They need to do something to get him out of his rhythm before it's too late. Here comes Williams. Down low, there is Yao. No luck, and the 76ers go the other way. Spates inside, there is Yao on Oh, a great stop. You know, when you attack a great defender, you got to come with something better than that. The handoff to Williams. Here's Verizhao. Takes it up. Count it. And the foul. It's going to be on Maurice Spates. Second team foul. Some changes for the 76ers. Good for the three-point play. And here is Williams. Nine points in the game so far. The 76ers can just sit on it to end the game. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To Igudala. Young, five on the shot clock. Brand with it. O'Neal with the rebound. Here comes Williams. Lobs it up. Missed. The 76ers walk away with a double-digit victory as they defeat the Cavaliers 46-34. Lewis Williams is the Jordan Brand player of the game, and he was spectacular. Well, he was the initiator and the playmaker for their offense, Kevin. He kept his head up and created a bunch of easy scores with his passing. Well, that's it for us. On behalf of Clark Kellogg, Cheryl Miller, and me, Kevin Harlan, thanks for tuning in to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports.